Hey, my name is Rachel. Have you guys ever been intimidated by Stone Age's climbing training equipment? Me too, until I learned how to use it, and now I love hanging out here. Today, we're talking about the systems wall. It's a great tool that trains four things. Symmetry, grip strength on hard holds, awkward body positions, and it helps shore up weaknesses. It's a lot like weight training. It has sets, reps, and repeat sections every week, allows you to see progress. To get started, you don't need a lot of climbing experience, but like any exercise regime, consult a doctor, a staff member, or a training manual before you begin. You also only need climbing shoes and a chalk bag to use this wall, but make sure you're thoroughly warmed up before you get started. Helping me today are the awesome and helpful KP and Maggie who are gonna demonstrate exercises to get you guys started. They are going to start with strength-specific exercises. This is just one thing you can train on the system's wall, but it's a good place to start. First exercise is lockdowns. These help build climbing specific strength and can be modified according to ability level. Maggie here is using jugs and bigger feet. Once you're comfortable with this, you can progress. Let's see what KP is doing. KP is on crimps and using harder footholds. You can even take a foot off or a hand off if you need more. For all of the exercises today, I want you to do these for 8 to 12 seconds, 2 to 3 times each side with 30 seconds rest in between. Remember, you want quality over quantity, so keep your hips square and your shoulders engaged, looking up, and don't forget to train both sides for your symmetry. Second exercise is one-ups. Level of difficulty can be determined by the hold type you use. See Maggie is using jugs and good feet. At first, she can stay square, working on strength and core tension. Make sure your chest is up and you're looking to where your next hold is, while all the while keeping your shoulders engaged. KP has started doing two ups on harder holds and harder feet for a bigger challenge. Like I said, go ahead and try this square at first, then try rotated hips and notice it's less pure strength and trains footwork and technique instead. Remember to switch sides. To advance this further, increase reach and make sure to use proper form. Keep your body engaged. You always want quality over quantity. Now, for our final exercise, start linking the moves together to practice footwork and body position in motion. Reversal of this is key for strength training and maintaining symmetry. Lastly, take all you've learned and try replicating the crux moves from your project. You got this. For more training videos, check out our YouTube channel, Stone Age Climbing Gym, or our website, climbstoneage.com. And remember, if you train properly, you too can climb like a superhero.